What's up everyone, Spokane Silver Stacker here, and I wanted to show a few silver purchases and give a few shout outs to some channels in the community, so let's get to the video. All right, everyone, I wanted to do a couple shout outs before I got too far behind on mail. I've been very busy lately, been working a lot more, and I've got a coin show coming up this weekend over in Pulse Falls. Going to be heading out to there to check out that coin show, but I wanted to shout out Stack That Gold. He recently had his 1K party, and during that, I won this 1984 Englehard Prospector, so he sent that to me. He was giving away quite a bit of stuff that night, and just kind of a fun night and hanging out, and so I won this 84 Englehard Prospector. Thanks, Stack That Gold, and congratulations on surpassing 1,000 subscribers. It is the month of 1,000 subscriber parties because SGT also recently had his 1,000 subscriber party. This is a great community. It is fun hanging out in the live streams with everyone and just getting to know everyone. Uh, definitely fun to be up on the panel when SGT had his uh, 1k giveaway and definitely fun to be there in the chat that night during stack that gold's 1k giveaway but let's move on to the next piece of mail and that comes from Steve looking for silver and he sent along his poker chip I've been trying to get one of these for a little bit and I was able to pick one up I did make a purchase from him I picked up a couple of these Freedom, the American Way, Johnson Mathe rounds. It's kind of cool. Vintage silver pieces. Picked up a few of these from him. I just really wanted to get that poker chip in my hand. So thank you to Steve Looking for Silver. He does streams every Friday night. So go check out his channel. Something else I wanted to show was an Instagram pickup. And this is Redneck Stacker. And I can't remember if I showed this in a video or not, but this is Big Red Bullion's pour. And so I do got the COA. I didn't pull it out for this video. I got everything put away. I'm kind of moving all my channel rounds and trying to reorganize them and trying to store stuff up a little more uh, efficiently. So got the COA put away, but I do have that for this. This is a two ouncer, just a nice little pour, little button pour. I like the ripples here on the back. Number nine, redneck stacker. But cool piece to add to the collection. And these right here are some pickups from the LCS. And we've got this his name shall be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, the Everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace. And this is a Christmas round, and it is a dated Christmas round. I usually don't like these uh, Christmas bars that are dated, any of the, but this is such a cool piece. I don't care if it has a date on it. I like the saying right here. I like this bar. And here's another one I picked up from the LCS. has some nice toning. I actually have one of these already and it's blast white so here's the toned version and just a blank back right here definitely a cool piece going into the deep stack for sure and i've got one more thing to show you real quick and that would be a new morgan got a 1903s g6 in the annex holder so we got the small s right here and i've been looking for this particular coin in this holder in this grade for quite a while i have a g6 in 
PCGS and a G6 and NGC. And I've been trying to find one for the 1903S with the variety of the small s in this grade. And I finally found one. And I want to find one in an ICG holder as a G6. And I want to do a comparison video and show all the different holders and compare this coin with the other ones that I got. But definitely happy to add this into the collection. Be on the lookout for that video. I'm not sure when I'll actually get to it, but that is my plan with this is to compare the three grading companies, at least for this coin. I just thought it'd be fun. Plus, you know what? This is a harder date and with the variety, still a nice coin to get. I paid... I mean, a little bit more than I wanted to for this, but I didn't overpay for this one. Just a little more than I wanted to. I wish I would have got, got it a little bit cheaper, but I'm okay with this. Nice coin for my collection. I like the Morgans. When I go to the coin show this weekend, that's what I'm going to be on the lookout is for either key date Morgans or Morgans in older holders or Rattlers. I'm not 100% sure what I'm looking for, but I know that that's what I'm going to be eyeing for and seeing what else I can find there. Hopefully I can find some good deals. I know last time I went, I got some pretty good deals on things. But thank you to all these community members that I mentioned, and thank you all for coming by and watching my video. I appreciate the support. I'm going to leave links for these channels in the description. As always, I appreciate it. Thank you all for stopping by and watching my video. If you liked my video, please hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and have a blessed day.